Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Oh yes, today we are taking a look at the AUV3 Sunriser. Sunriser has just been updated to include AUV3 and that's just totally brilliant because Sunriser is just oh, brilliant anyway, totally awesome. And now you can use it as a, a, a AU unit. So yeah, I'm just going to close these. I'm going to show you what I've done here so you have an idea. Uh, anybody who's a Patreon uh, already, uh, this will be added to the AUM Sessions folder, um, along with the other 33 <laughs> sessions in there. Anyway, listen, uh, there'll be links in the description for Sunriser below. If you haven't got it, uh, please use my link. Uh, I get a small commission raffle. I'd be amazed if you haven't already got it, but there you go. Um, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six... So six sunrises at the minute. Uh, DSP is ticking over at 25%, 24, 25. iPad Air 2. Um, so, yeah, nothing spectacular there. So you can see Sunriser. Because Sunriser was developed so long ago, it's incredibly efficient on the higher-end devices, uh, as you can see. Uh, now, when you install the AUV3 version, you're not going to lose all your old presets and stuff, but you can always go to the web browser and, you know, pick up the web library and pick up the free stuff. Once you buy Sunrise, or all the banks are free. Um, yeah, but what you do is you open the standalone version first, and you know, the normal version, and you close it, and then open the AU version and all your... So if we have a look in there, all my, uh, you know, sound banks are there, and if you haven't already got these... And Spider Eye Smiders is, is about to be added, I think, to the web library as well, which is very, very, very cool for Spider, but it's such a good pack. Uh, you just go to the web library and then you can install your new free packs as well. Anyway, here we go. What I've done here is with this first one, I have it rooted to my... Uh, I don't have it rooted to my oxygen at all, do I? So rooted to my oxygen keyboard there. And for this one, I have it rooted to my oxygen keyboard. For this one, I have it rooted to mini. I'm just going to route it to the oxygen uh, to the mini brute. Now I'm using the, the Atari mini brute synth as a MIDI controller, so I've got it all plugged into a powered USB hub. Okay, and with this one is going to the oxygen keyboard. This one is going to the Oxygen Keyboard 2, and this one is going to the Mini Brute. So I've got two sounds on a Mini Brute. So those, here are the two synth sounds I've got logged into the Mini Brute. And on the Oxygen, it's going to be, and on the Oxygen MIDI keyboard, it's going to be triggering the other four or five. And uh, is it four? four, five, six, yeah, it's going to be triggering the other four, and they're all playing arpeggios. And because they're all linked together at 90 BPM, this is what is going to happen. So I press one key on the oxygen, and I change the key. No, oh, nothing in that see. What's it? And that's a bass. So playing them all together, um, so if I play like some notes on the oxygen and then some leads as well, keep an eye on the DSP. I think it goes up to around 50-ish percent, I think. Let's just have a quick look here. So I'm going to play it all now. So absolutely brilliant DSP control. Right, so what other cool stuff can we do? Okay, let's see. It's just going to save this session. Sunrise are done. Save. Yes, that's fine. Hey, Watson's going to start barking now because the postman's arrived. Have you heard him? He's unbelievable, he is. So I'm going to clear that session out. I'm going to add three here. See what we can do. I'm going to add audio unit extension. 
sorry if the screen's a bit reflective because it's a dark. Um, let me see now. Um, let's see. Sunriser. Also, this is the developer of the amazing Xeon as well, Beep Street. Uh, Audio Unis extensions again, Sunriser. Sunriser. Um, and Audio Unis extensions again, Sunriser. Now, here's what I'm going to do. Oh, I'll go on. I'm going to add one more as well. Audio Unit extension. Where's, where's it going now? Sunriser. Okay, so first of all, I'm, I know where I'm going to route this. I'm going to route this to the mini brute. Okay, so that should be the initial patch. There it is, you know, the ITAR patch. And with these three, I am going to route them all to the oxygen. And we're going to build like a bad, big, bad pad, paddy type sound. Okay. And for first off, I'll just I could either solo them and move them down. I'm going to drop that to about there. Go to here. Let's open up, see what we've got. Uh, let's go to Spider's Pack because this is going to be available soon. And let me just have a quick listen. It's like Farscape. Don't know why my DSP is spiking there. Might be the sound. For this one, that'll be the ITAR patch again. Let's try some pad sounds from in here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And get that one down. And sorry, let's do this. Now, of course, you can see possibilities here of being able to just build absolutely awesome, awesome soundscapes and stuff. But Sunriser is so brilliant at everything. I just, it really is great. Sign vibes. Let's see what we've got going on here. The sphere. Now, why? Oh. I need something. So mixing those three together, I wonder what happens. Oh, yes. And I only need, let me see, some sort of lead sound. Oh. Well, that might be nice, actually. It might, be, might, might fit in with the mood quite nicely. So let us see. I've got, now, I'm going to play a couple of things on the thing just to see. Um, we've got four going on here. And no effects or anything else added as well, so... Brilliant. That is totally brilliant. So that was four sunrises. Three of them hooked up to the oxygen to play the pads. One of them hooked up to the mini brew to play that. Cool. 
cool lead sound and then that was the mod So there you go, guys. There is Sunrise AUV3 version. Well, it's the, it's the same version. And more to the point, it's a totally 100% free update. So if you already own Sunriser, you've already got the AUV3 version, which is brilliant. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Consider becoming a Patreon. It's very important and, and, and really, really helps a lot. And it's, you know, it's really cheap. I'm a dollar a month. Um, yeah, brilliant Sunrise AUV3, awesome. And I love what I love about. And sometimes I'm just gonna ask a quick question here. Many people say, "Why do you use AUM for everything?" <clears throat> it's simple, really. Unless I, you know, for synth demonstrations or it's particularly AU is perfect because you know you can. Uh, that's this that one, isn't it? You can resize everything. Um, to suit. So if I open that up like that, and then all, all of a sudden just resize it down there, it's it's all there, and it's really easy. So for obviously for different synths, it's more logical. It's easier to see what's going on on the screen, and the routing in AUM is in, just insanely good. You can root pretty much everything everywhere. You can apply effects. You can apply multiple effects. You know, you don't just have to apply one effect. You can apply another one, another one, another one. It doesn't matter, and then it goes. That's why I use AUM just to demo stuff because it's ideal. It's a reviewer's dream app, AUM. Apart from the fact that it's brilliant for live and stuff like that. Listen, I have waffled on for long enough about AUM. It's awesome, brilliant, top job. Seriously, as since go, I would highly recommend you buy it if you haven't already got it. The only question to ask yourselves if you haven't already got it is, why? Why haven't you already got it? Why? Listen... Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you later. You have a great day. Ta-ra.